Hey guys, welcome back to another Fallout video. This will be Fallout 4, episode 27. Now, I was in here and I was like, oh, maybe I should record and explore the National Guard training facility. One of the missions actually sent us here, but I never actually got to explore it fully. So, oh, that machine gun turret won't actually, oh, okay, well, let's unlock this with the National Guard password that we found in another episode. I don't know what episode it was. Alert system lockdown, security door, open door. Come on. Here we go. Back up. Back up. Now... If you guys come here at a lower level, this will not be here reason why it's here is because I'm at a high level. I'm at level 65, I believe. Yep, 65. Looks like I've leveled up. So let's take care of that. What should I get? Um... I've been trying to get over to here, and this is sure, and this is ghoulish. So it's a sure, you're human still. On the outside, radiation now regenerates your health. That's what I've been trying to get to, but also I'm trying to get to that too. Reason why is because I usually snipe. That's the reason why I want to do it, and become your leader by example. Your companion does more damage in combat and cannot hurt you. That will be a lot of work, so that would really help me out. I mean, didn't mean to say the other way. I'm still really tired, even after sleeping. So... We're just going to grab everything that we can. Really? A plastic knife? Okay. So if you do guys come here, don't come in here at a lower level. So you guys can get the X01 power armor. That's the strongest power armor in the game. Well, it depends on what power armor you're into, so... Now we're looking for the power armor storage terminal. Okay, that's power armor storage. Alrighty. Oh boy, what do I want? Okay, that's just not going to do anything. I'm looking for wires or anything that will lead up to anything. Nothing. No. Aluminum. We really need that. So I would definitely come here. Just come here at a higher level. I'm going to exit and we're going to continue on. Going to each place and making sure that um, everything's all secure. I just wanted to do this episode just to do it because why not? Um, we'll see what we can do. If 
5.56 rounds, read away and frag mine. We're gonna go counterclockwise. Uh oh. Oh, we are running. Okay, we're gonna go up some set of stairs. I think I saw it. We're gonna run the opposite way. Make sure we're fully healed. Wanna make sure he's going the other way. Whoa. He's overheated, so let's run around. Got him. Watch how big that explosion is. Wow. Nice. <clears throat> that was cool. Missiles, fusion, power, relay, coil, fuse, and aluminum. Old vertebrate. From probably before the war. Now this is where he came out of, I believe. Came out of this right here. That goes there, so let's see if we can... This is where I just was, the armory. Let's go back in there and see what's going on. And it's still not attacking us. Let's see if this has anything to do with it. Nope. Just says stuff about... The power armor. Don't worry, we will come back in here for it, so. Alright, let's go back outside and clear out everything else.
we're going to start at this building right here. Even though it's probably nothing in here. Yep, nothing here. That's good though. Good to know. There probably is. Let's go through this way. Actually, there is. Right here. I'll meet you guys inside. Any weapons? I'm going to brighten up the screen for you guys so you can actually see. Hairbrush, folded American flag, Boston Bugle, meds, the barracks access terminal. I think this just leads outside. I'm pretty sure. But we will see when it loads up. Yep, just leads outside. Let's go back into the barracks. Back into a barracks. This is the barracks that we haven't gone into yet. There's a ghoul to the left of us. But we'll slowly go up. that door so if they do open it let's open it for them where did he go oh he's in the room next to us oh there's two of them Here we go. Took them both down. Grab stuff that they have. Now it's not pickpocketing. stuff in here. Fusion cell, tablespoon, alrighty let's get the hell out of here because it just got really dark and there's nothing more to go to because in the other mission the one guy all right let's just leave here because I'm getting a lot of radiation down to glowing one and now he's dead let's just run out of here real quick I don't want to be here any longer. National Guard Training Yard. So let's get to it. 
Now we basically explored everything at the National Guard training area. Because there really wasn't much to it anyways, so... This was a little quick, easy episode, even though there's still going to be more for it. Going to open up this door by this terminal. Open door. It's opening. Open door. Here we go. Come on. Oop, press the button a little too much. Alrighty. Where else should I go? Oh wow, another power armor. X01 again. Gosh. Full suit. Nice. Let's enter it completely. Wow, the camera angle is really messed up. Now let's go to the other building that we were just... Oh, didn't notice those who was legendary. Lucky combat armor. Nice. Well, let's see if we can find the building that we were in. Stop. Why did they all start running out after me? Here we are. National Guard Armory. Now, I'm just going to grab everything from the power armor stand, because I don't need to be carrying two power armors. So let's get to my base and see what we can do to the power armor. Now guys, that was the National Guard Training Yard. I will show you guys where that was in the map. Just let me load into my base. Where all my power armor is. Alrighty. As you guys can see, my power armor right there. But this is the Brotherhood set of power armor. Now. I'm going to show you where it was on the map. training yard right here where it says cleared right there that's the training yard where we found the two sets of power armor now that is only if you guys got there at a later stage I got there when I was around level I think 32 maybe 35 but once you hit around um, level 30 the power armor will start spawning as X01. And don't quote me on that because I'm not too sure. That's what I've been told multiple of times is once you hit power once you hit level 30, you get different, you know, you get X01 power armor spawning, but I'm really not too sure on that. So let's As you guys can see, I have the um, a whole bunch of power armor. I got the T45, 
Boss T60B power armor. I have a full suit of Raider power armor, full suit of T51 power armor, and I upgraded it to the F version. And I have T45 F version. Now that was regular. That's the regular first suit of power armor I ever got, and then I upgraded it to T6 to 45F power armor, and then the T60F power armor, and then I have a set of X01 power armor with a um, uh, jetpack. So I believe the only way you can have a jetpack is on the X01, but I'm not too sure on that. So let's get out of this just so we can get out of it for right now. And oop, ran too quick. Hold on, guys. Alrighty, so let's get rid of the all the power armor parts I have. Where are they? X01 helmet. I always get the right leg. As you guys can see, I need the left leg, not the right leg. Come on. So now, I'm going to transfer everything that doesn't have So we'll put that on, we'll put that on, that on, and that's about it. Left leg, right leg should already be on it, yeah it is. Alright, let's put everything on this one then. One, two, three, four. Buckle my shoe, oh my god, it's a beauty. I don't know, that didn't rhyme. Oh well, I tried. Alrighty, so let's take this, put the lowest fusion core I have in it, 12. Put that on in it, I want to customize it. Customize all the power armor I can get. Oh, I know. Shut up. Well, let's move that power armor. Does that have a fusion core in it? It shouldn't, because I take them out, because the AIs, Preston Garvey, always has a habit of running in here every time we get attacked, and he tries to take the power armor. So I've been finding, you know, all my power armor all over the place, and it's like, all right, is one suit there, one suit there, one suit there, and one suit there. Really? Come on. They shouldn't allow that. Unless you actually command them to do it. I'm going to take the fusion core out just in case I don't get to this automatically. So, left leg... I'm going to make that Mach 5, 6, Mach 6. Yeah. <sighs> oh, um, increases sprint speed, additional... Uh, action points. Oops. I'm trying to figure out what these all mean. Increased carry weight. Increased damage. Radi radius of impact landing. Reduce action point cost of sprinting. Reduce... Increase sprint time at additional action action point cost and increase 
action point refresh speed while moving I'm gonna do calibrated shock so I can hold more just because I have a habit of grabbing everything I get but that's only because that's what I think I can do nothing wrong with that because sometimes you need it military paint increases stealth when all pieces are painted vault tech increases charisma with all pieces painted increases armor health increase it increases radiation resistance increases energy resistance explosive shielding XO1 temp shielding um don't know what I'm gonna do there yet guys let me know down in the comments below what you guys want me to do with this suit of armor and I will be more than likely to you know make this you know the subscriber power armor that means whatever you want me to do with it I'll do it but I wanted the jetpack so you guys don't get to say over that I get it <laughs> But don't worry, I have other X01 frames so I can always, you know, customize another one so I can put it on it. I'm not too worried. So guys, this will be the end of the episode. Thank you so much, guys. Have a great day. If you like this episode and like Fallout 4 and want to see more videos on my channel of Fallout 4, please subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much and have a great day. Peace.